Well, sitting on the road isn't quite what I had in mind for my day today. Turns out uh, my transfer case doesn't want to transfer anymore. So what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. So we are going out to grab something for our channel today that is going to make things so much easier. It's something I've had my eyes out for for the last four years because I'm very specific when it comes to this and I didn't want to just settle for any and I think I finally may have found one. So I'm downloading all the old footage from my GoPro, clearing it out so we have a fresh slate for this road trip because this is a four hour round trip, several hundred kilometers. It's going to involve a trailer and we're gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. So I, fingers crossed, I've, I've talked over the phone with the people and I, I got really high hopes for this. So let's hope we can't make this happen. So once this is done downloading, we are going to load up the Jeep. We are gonna get in the Jeep and we are gonna start making our way over that way. And we'll, fingers crossed. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. So stay tuned. Let's see what we get into here. Well, sitting on the road isn't quite what I had in mind for my day today, but <laughs> nevertheless, here we are. Turns out uh, my transfer case doesn't want to transfer anymore. So it, um, I pulled off the highway to get a bite to eat and pulled out and it made uh, an awful clunk, kerchunk sound. And I was like, whatever. Probably, th I thought I hit something on the road and uh, Went to get back in the gas, and she didn't want a gas. So, yeah, we're sitting on the side of the road, eating my lunch, waiting for a tow truck. So, we'll get back to you when we know what the heck is going on here. All right, well, it's definitely a transfer case. I poked around at it for a little bit while I wait for the tow truck, since they told me it's probably going to be about three hours, between three to four hours because it's a long distance tow. I'm about 250 kilometers roughly from home. So yeah, that's not the way I seen this weekend going, but I guess once the tow truck's here, we get it back to my house, we will assess the situation and decide whether we're gonna just rebuild this T case or see if we can find a T case. I, I tried looking around online but i got terrible service here so no sense i'll just take a nap and wait <laughs> i don't even know what else to do so it's a hurry up and wait game we'll get back at you when the tow truck's here i bought a new truck so i bought what i was told was a 2001 f-250 with the 7.3 that is what the ad said it was through a car lot it was all great and tell it died on the highway on me so yeah so apparently it went through a inspection process and they checked it out everything was good clearly not because well it died however in the process of me being stuck on the side of the highway i started looking at the paperwork and come to realize the truck is a year older than he said generally not a big deal however there is one big problem all right, so it's future editing street stomper here. I've decided I'm going to blur out the company information, both that sold me the vehicle and the company, two companies that actually performed the government inspection. I don't want any blowback from it and I don't want to drag anybody through the mud. So we'll leave the drama to just the fact that I got taken here. So luckily I managed to have the vehicle brought back out to the guy and he cut me a check and the check hasn't bounced yet, so <laughs> that's a good thing. And I did end up getting another vehicle, so you're going to have to stay tuned to the end to see what I got here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to blur out their information. I apologize that it's probably going to be a little bit annoying to watch it, but stay with it. Okay, so here's the problem. So, clearly, like I said, it's, it's actually a 2000, just like it says on the bill of sale. But uh, I'll put it right here. I'll put a screenshot in of the actual ad. And, um, 
yeah, as, and as you can see on the ad, it doesn't say anything about any accidents or anything. And this is the inspection report he gave me. I was like, wow, that's kind of thorough, you know, looking at it. And I just, honestly, I just glanced at it. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. However, when I flipped the page, something caught my eye. A sticker tucked up in the corner. Well, that is a sticker that a vehicle gets after it's been in an accident or a write-off. If you look just under that, rebuilt from salvage. Nowhere in his ad does it say it was rebuilt from salvage. It does not say it's a rebuilt title. It says it's a clean title. So that right there is, is not good. Furthermore, we have some items in here. So these things, so for a government inspection, this is a government inspection. You can't, you can't fake this stuff. If you fake this stuff, the shop that did it, they'll, they'll lose their license. And I can tell you right off the bat, the mirrors don't work. The windows don't work. Uh, there's no, there's no door locks. Um, the driver's seat is completely shredded. Like it should never pass. It needs a seat cover on it at the very least. Uh, tires are cracked. The steering linkage is extremely worn, like sways back and forth, uh, extreme brake vibration, like pulsing. So warped rotors of some sort. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, headlights, so the driver's side headlight doesn't actually work. It's actually only the daytime running light. When you switch it on, it doesn't change. Uh, what else do we got here? Visible wiring. Where did I see this? I've seen a thing for visible wiring. Visible wiring. So there is exposed bare wiring for the trailer hitch. Literally, all the wires for the hitch are just hanging in the back. Like, they were, they were black taped up. So, yeah, long story short, I got taken by a car lot. So now I'm waiting for a tow truck to come and pick this thing up and bring it back out to him because this thing is not worth what I paid. It's not worth half of what I paid, being that it's a rebuilt title. Generally speaking, in our area, if it is a rebuilt title, it, it is half or less than half. And I paid 90% of retail on this truck, so... Yeah, wish me luck. Well, I'll probably do some filming when we get there because this, it'll be interesting to ca catch his uh, reaction on camera. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I told you I got another vehicle. I'm going to show you what I got, but you can't laugh because, yes, it's kind of funny. So <laughs> let me turn you around and show you what I got. Alright, so what we've got here is an 05 Ram 2500. You're asking yourself, why in the heck would he buy another freaking Dodge? Well, there's a couple reasons. So I actually had, as you've seen, I was looking for a 7.3 Ford F-350 with the 7.3. And after this first one didn't pan out, I went and looked at a second one. And it was just the biggest piece of crap truck I've ever seen. I mean, the box was so rusted out, you couldn't even have put anything in the back. It would have just fell through. So... I had this one lined up as a secondary vehicle, as a backup, just in case, because I need to be able to tow the Jeep. That's the bottom line, is I need to be able to tow it. And after that one didn't pan out, I started thinking, you know what, maybe I should be just looking for something that I know really well, that can do a lot of the stuff I need it to do, but still be cheap to repair. Hence a 2500 with the Hemi. I can still tow a pretty substantial amount of weight. I can haul a crap ton of weight. I think the payload on this thing is like 2,600 pounds or something. So, I mean, but you can see just how clean the body is on this thing. Like it's, and yeah, this, this isn't pulling the wool over anybody's eyes. You can see down in there. I hope you can see in there. There's not a speck of rust on any of the wheel wells. This thing is, it's clean. And I mean, look at the interior. Aside from it missing the lumbar support handle, 
right here this thing is immaculate like it is just in incredible shape so i figured what the heck as soon as i seen it i was like holy crap that thing is clean so it was a little old lady that owned it believe it or not she used it as her bug out vehicle she had a camper on the back and she used it for getting the heck out of town she had a government job and almost i think she said every friday saturday sunday she would skip town so yeah clearly i mean six lights they gotta go we'll we'll fix that up but yeah let me know what you guys think i mean i'm happy to be back in a truck the jeep is still with us it's getting some stuff done you're gonna have to wait to see that because the way i intended on going with it isn't going to work we're gonna have to revisit it just for durability and reliability aspects but furthermore again i want to be able to tow the jeep to where we're going to play i don't want to have to worry about driving a big lifted jeep on the on the roads i mean spoiler alert yes the jeep's getting a uh, big lift and big tires so yeah this is what we got so we're not gonna do cr anything crazy with this i'm gonna do a mild build on it i think i'm gonna probably go i don't know maybe like a three inch lift and some 35s it's already got a rear locker we'll throw a front locker in there just like we had in our our power wagon but it'll be a double duty machine we can use it both for towing and heck if we want to go out and just hit some mild trails we can do that with this with the comfort of air conditioning so yeah let me know what you guys think i look forward to uh sharing this content with you guys i'm really excited about where we're going with the channel here uh, i do have a few things to do on this i have to do some exhaust manifold bolts so i am going to make a video about that if you're curious about how to extract broken bolts in the hemi keep an eye on the channel you won't want to miss it so because you know what you bring it to a shop to have them do it it's like thousand bucks easy i actually think it was like 800 dollars per side or something ridiculous i'm gonna show you how to do it for less than 100 so all right so i just left my uh filming spot there and totally forgot to mention the fact that we wanted a truck for ease of camping to be able to you know throw the gear in the back and go whereas with the jeep it's a little bit more difficult to take three kids camping with the amount of gear you need so that was another reason behind hunting for a truck and then my son can put his dirt bike in the back put the jeep on the trailer whatever 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 you get the gist i'm rambling if you like this sort of content and you are curious to see where these builds go please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one